this, 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 What's good, everybody? I hope everybody's being safe, practicing social distancing, practicing uh, yoga, practicing meditation, practicing whatever you need to practice to be uh, well in these crazy times, definitely. But I am here with today's play of the day. This is Drag from Tomase Financial. And today, I want to talk about Ford. Yeah, yeah, we gonna do it, man. So, the thing about Ford is, it's a weird one. I got a couple weird ones coming up this week, but Ford is kind of a weird one. Um, the automotive industry is, eh, it, it's not that hot, honestly. But, the thing about Ford is, before the virus, it was kind of going up. It was on its way up. And the two reasons why it was on its way up is because they put out a new Corvette with a new body type and they started production on new fully electric vehicles. And that changed a lot of people's perspective about Ford. So um, that had them going up obviously the virus hit and the market just went down anyway so of course ford went down but i still think and ford's trading now at like something crazy like two dollars right um but these are my reasons for ford being the player today right a a number one The government is not going to let Ford go out of business. It's just not. Uh, we saw it in, I think, 2008, 2009, 2007, around that time with the automotive uh, bailout, automotive industry bailout. We, we saw this. Um, we, and I, I, there's no way th the government now would let the automotive industry tank. The same way they won't let the banking industry tank. Um, so that's one. Two, B, Ford was on an uptick because of the two things that I mentioned earlier. They were already going up and it was probably trading at like $9 or something like that before uh, before the, the market went down. So trading at around two three dollars i don't know where it is at the time that you're watching this but trading at two three dollars uh and if it just evens out again and it goes if it just goes back up to nine and you bought it you bought in at two man listen listen you know it's gonna take us a while just to get back to normalcy true that is very 100% true. But when we do, that is going to be, uh, it's going to be a payday for the people that bought in now. You know, if you bought in $2 now and you didn't have any restrictions, right? Some people have restrictions on what they can buy, when they can buy, how they can buy. So if you didn't have any restrictions and you bought uh, 50 shares of, Ford now, which would come out to a hundred dollars roughly if it's at that two dollar mark, right? Um, and it shoots back up to nine dollars, let's just say this time next year, right? Uh, you know, you do the mathematics on that one, that's 50 times nine instead of 50 times two, like you know what I mean? Like 50 times nine, that's just it getting back to normal. I I could foresee it going to eleven dollars a share probably this time next year. So fifty times eleven. So that's not bad at all. 
that's a that's a in my book, you know. Um, so Ford is my play of the day. Check it, watch it, learn, grow. Uh, don't just take my word for it. You know, educate yourself, do the knowledge to it. Um, I am not a financial advisor. Um, if you are just starting investing and you want to learn more, want to learn how to start, check out this video. Hopefully that will answer most questions that you have. If not, reach out to me. I'll try to answer what I can, how I can, the best way that I can. Uh, once again, that was my play of the day, Ford. This is Drag for Tomase Financial. Till the next time we meet, have a good one.